Hello everyone, and welcome to another video of visual testing using Percy. In this video, we talk about how we perform visual testing using Java and Selenium with the Percy tool. In the previous video, we covered what is visual testing and why is visual testing important. And we also see how we configured the Percy with Nodes and the Selenium project. You can see the video I have put the link in the description. In this video, we see how we can create a new project in Percy how we configure the Percy with our Selenium Java project. Run Percy script through the Percy command line and reviewing visual differences in Percy dashboard. These four steps we need to follow to integrate Percy with our project. Now go to Google and search visual testing using Percy. And click on the official link of the Percy Now click on the login button. Here choose sign in with the Google option. After signing with Google, you will navigate to the Percy dashboard. Click on create a new project button and give any name to the project. Click on the Create Project button. After creating a new project, you can find the project token and copy this project token. Here I have created one test case using Java Selenium page object model. This contains six steps, and for every step, Percy takes snapshots. Make sure Node.js is installed in your system. To check, go to the project directory. Write the node, v command in the command prompt, and press enter. Here I have already installed the node EJs. You can install it from the official site of the node EJs. Before executing the test, we need to install the Percy command line using npm install, our Percy heart CLI. And install the Percy Selenium WebDriver dependency using npm install out our Percy Selenium web driver. Now set the Percy token, which is copied from the Percy dashboard. Here I use Windows, so I am using set Percy token, use our Percy token command. You can find the commands to set the Percy token in different, different OS. Now we need to execute our test using npx Percy exec, MVN clean test, dtest class file name with path. Here you can see our browser successfully open and it will navigate to the Alphabin demo store site. Here it will click on all product button on the home page. Then it will select the first product and it will add the product to the cart. Now it's click on the checkout button. And before the checkout, we need to log in first. So here we pass the valid login ID and password and click on the login button. After login, it will navigate to the checkout page. And here, you can see our script run successfully.
By clicking on this link, we will redirect to the Percy dashboard. And after running the test for the first time, Percy captured the baseline screenshots. Now we again run the same test to capture the subsequent screenshots for the comparison. Press the upper key and enter to execute the last test. Here you can see our second test also start running and it will capture the subsequent screenshots for the comparison. Browser opens successfully and it will navigate to the Alphabin Demo Store site. It will click on All Products button on the home page. It will add the first product to the cart. Click on the checkout button and pass the valid login ID and password. And after successfully log in, it will redirect to the checkout page. Here you can see our second test also runs successfully. Click on the link and we will navigate to the Percy dashboard. If any visual differences are detected will be displayed on the Percy dashboard. Here we see one visual change are there. Any visual differences detected will be displayed on the Percy dashboard. Using the Percy tool, we can perform the visual testing and make our website visually free. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on software testing.